You so totally rock, Spartans. Here we go. Hey, everybody. We are going to do grouping integers. Here's our recording sheet. And uh, think in words. We have this expression 4 times 3. What that means is I'm going to have four groups of three. Array model with tiles would be to set them up in rows or columns. So if you think about having one group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three, four groups of three. That would, that's what four times three looks like. The value of the expression, four times three, would of course give us 12, because if I have four groups of three, I have 12 tiles. Now on a number line, how you would show that is with hops. You're going to have four hops, and there's going to be three in each hop. So our first hop goes to three, then to six, then to nine, and finally to 12. Four groups of three is 12. Now other additional examples of a positive times a positive could be like five times two. Remember the dot is another form of multiplication and that gives us 10. We could also use parentheses, seven parentheses three equals my favorite number, 10A1. Or say you've got like 100 times nine. You can also still see the X times nine equals 900. All examples of positives times positives. Okay, and our next one, we have four groups of negative three. I'm gonna switch to my red. Okay, so how that's shown is uh, you got four groups, but there's three negatives in each group. So here's a group of three negatives, gotta shade them in. You're welcome to just use a pencil, just shade it in. Two groups of negative three gives me negative six. Three groups of negative three negative 9, and 4 groups of negative 3, negative 12. Okay, I can show that with the hops, but I'm going to go backwards now. 1 group of negative 3, 2 groups of negative 3 gets us to negative 6. Here's 3 groups that I reach. Oops, sorry, I didn't go far enough. 3 groups is negative 9, and 4 groups negative 12. So each one has a negative 3 in each group, and there were four groups, and that gives us negative 12. Other examples of positives times negatives, I could have positive 5 times negative 2. And if I have five groups of two negatives, that would give me a negative 10. The negative can also go first. Let's say I have negative 7 times positive 3. That's the same as three groups of negative seven, which is negative 21. Or I could have 100 times negative nine, giving me negative 900. So it's important to know your integer rules and different forms of multiplication. All right, now the next one is interesting. So give me a second before you start copying it down. Over here, we had four groups of three. I'm sorry, four groups of negative three, which gave us negative 12. Now, do you agree that the opposite of a positive is a negative? And the opposite of a negative is a positive. Yes, yes, and yes. So what they're saying here, when we have a negative times a negative, it is the opposite of four groups of negative three. What? Okay, forget the opposite. Let me draw four groups. Well, I don't want to draw negatives because then it's going to change. Okay. If I've got four groups of negative 3 and that's negative 12, what is the opposite of that? So it looks like this. Um, just give me a second before you start writing. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and another 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, here's my... If I just had plain four times negative three, that's four groups of negative three. But they want the opposite of that. So if I put these in parentheses, the opposite of that. What is the opposite of negative 12? That would be positive 12. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
one, two, three, one, two, three. So where typically four groups of negative three goes back, four groups, three, negative three in each group, this one will go forward. Forward three, forward three gets me to six, nine, and 12. So the answer when you have a negative times a negative, you're gonna get a positive. Think of it this way, we've got Squirt here, and when we did a positive times a positive, he went in a positive direction. And then, when we times by a negative, it went backwards. Times by a negative again, it goes back forwards, facing the same direction we were when we started. So, multiply by a negative, you turn around. Multiply by a negative again, turn around, you're facing the same direction. All right. Other examples of negative times a negative. Negative five, times negative two. Negative times a negative gets us back to a positive. Then we have a negative seven times a negative three. Negative times a negative gets us back to a positive. Negative 100 times a negative nine gets us a positive 900. All right, let's flip to the back. And flip. If you're a turtle and you flip, you're in trouble. Okay, here we go. This array model right here is showing us an actual math problem. So take a look. Down the side here, we have one, two, three, four, five negatives. So I would write negative five here. Across the top, we have four negatives right here. And then inside, we have uh, five, 10, 15. We have positive 20 inside. So which expression can be used to represent this model? Select all the correct answers by checking the box in front of the letter. So this box here next to A, could this represent negative five times negative four? Negative five times negative four is positive 20? Yes, it could. What about a negative four and a positive five? No, the positive five should have been a negative. What about a negative four times a negative five? They're just reversing the numbers. We still get a positive 20. Here we go. Ooh, division. What if I take 20 positives and divide by five negatives? Yep, because division is just the reverse of multiplication. What about a positive 20 and a positive five? Nope, the positive five won't let it work. What about a negative 20 and a negative four? Nope, the negative 20 should have been a positive. All right, moving over to a number line. Represent each expression shown below on the number line. Okay, well, they didn't give us any numbers. I can make up the numbers. So if I'm doing two groups and negative six in each group, I'm going to put my zero over here. I'm going to make two hops, one, two, because it's going to go in a negative direction, and I'm going to go back six each time. Ew, this arrow looks a little funny. There we go. A little bit nicer. So from zero back six spaces, I'm at negative six. Back another six spaces, I'm at negative 12. Ta-da, we did it. Going to number one on the bottom. Which expression best represents the model on the number line? Well, I see there's two hops. I see there's negative four in each hop. So maybe two times negative four. I see it right here on D. Negative two times negative four, that would equal a positive eight. So that one's definitely out. Negative two times positive four would also give me a negative eight, but it's not the best representation of this picture. Two groups of four negatives is better. And negative four times positive four, that's 16, that's not even close. So this one's the closest, but D is the best answer. Oops, sorry, didn't know I was crooked. All right, which equation cannot be represented by the model below? All right, so I know my answer's gotta be negative 20. That's where the arrow stopped. This is a positive 20, so it can't be A. B has a negative 20, C has a negative 20, and D has a negative 20. Okay, let's see. I've got four groups, one, two, three, four. There's five negatives in each group. 
So this could be 4 times negative 5. Oh, right here, 4 times negative 5. That's a good one. But we could also reverse it and do division. Negative 20 divided by 4 groups gives me negative 5 in each group. That's good. And this is repeated addition, which is the same as multiplication, so that's good. How do I have three right ones? Oh, it said it cannot, so we're looking for the wrong one. A is the answer. Be careful of those. They try to trick you, and for those of us that read too fast, that's what happens. All right, let's recap some old stuff. The absolute value of 3 minus 10. So if in the absolute value I do LCO, 3 plus negative 10, that would give me negative 7. And then what's the absolute value of negative 7? Positive 7. One below it, 10 negatives and 12 positives. The negative 10 cancels out 10 positives, but I still have two positives left over. Next one up here. Negatives plus negatives give you more negatives, and 5 plus 6 is 11. 15 minus 5, that's just normal math, that's 10. Negative 4 minus negative 8, oh, a minus minus. Well, if I do, not LCO, I'm sorry, LAO, got to change my habit, LAO. Leave it, add it, opposite, opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. So four negatives and eight positives, combine them, the positives win by four. And then the bottom one. Two plus four is six. Then if I take six plus negative eight, they cancel each other out, but the eight negatives have more. The negatives win, they win by two. All right, that's it for today's lesson. See you next time. Adios.